Hi Saj, thank you for joining me for your general read for uh, March. Yeah, wow, March already. Um, for those of you who are new to tarot, you might benefit from reading my descriptions box or my pinned comments below. It just means that I can be freed up to get straight in with this read, okay? Sagittarius Collective for March, please. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, so your first card out is Peace, Freedom from Attachments, Radical Acceptance, a time, a time for what? A time for calmness and well-being. Wow, Sagittarius, that is a really, really beautiful energy. Um, that's, that's all about release. It's all about accepting the things that are outside of your control, focusing on the things that you do have control over, um, re releasing attachments as well for some of you, that there's some kind of an attachment that you've released or an old way of thinking or an old way of doing things. Um, that, that's all about coming back into harmony with yourself. Well, I, I say coming back into harmony. Um, it's a bit of a touchy subject because for some of you, uh, you've never really been in harmony with yourself, uh, not completely. That There's always been something that has stopped you from really just, just enjoying life. All right. So we're seeing here with this particular energy, you're finding your inner peace, you're finding your center. Um, it is really, really nice. Also as well, for some of you, it's like you're releasing expectations that others are having or had of you as well. Okay. Your next card out is Deep Knowing, Intuition, Empathy, Hypersensitivity, Tune In and Trust Your Vibes. Your hunches will pay dividends. Right. So you knew that basically whatever this was, whether it was a person, a state of mind or old habits, you knew that there was something unhealthy with that particular attachment and that that's why you've released it that's why you set it free and by doing that you set yourself free I, I am aware of how cheesy it sounds but you know that that's what I'm seeing in your cards so I have to read it as I'm seeing it and that's literally what I'm seeing you then have fork in the road and this is where it gets a bit interesting Sagittarius it's time for you to make a decision considering your consequences and making a necessary choice so whichever direction that you pick from here right that there is going to be a consequence now wh whether or not it's a good consequence or a negative consequence it consequence is just that okay it, it's a consequence so we're seeing that there is a payoff here for you. I'm feeling there's a positive payoff because of this release of attachment or expectation that you've already done. It's freed up your energies in order for you to have more decisions in life. And right now you're kind of at a bit of a crossroads. Um, this is you finding your confidence to make the best decision for yourself, but also to be okay with whatever comes, you know, what whatever consequences there may or may not be for this brand new path that you're literally about to embark on. You, you're going to be okay with it because you you know that this deep knowing that this is a decision that you're making for yourself. That this isn't something where, you, where your hand is being forced. That this is a situation where you have taken a decision to pick the path of freedom and uh, enlightenment as well. It's a really, really nice energy. I'm so, so proud of you, Saj. This is an amazing read so far. Right, so we're going to start pulling your tarot and we'll see what else is coming out for you, okay? There we go. For the Sagittarius, please. Um, I'm also noticing there's a very similar colour theme that's running through these cards as well. It's kind of like a, a turquoisey colour. You know, it, it's not quite green, it's not quite blue, it's more of a like a, a turquoise. Um, so some of you. I'm going to read out what um, 
blues and greens pertain to in tarot, but of course you can make up your own mind about the actual turquoise, okay? Uh, so greens pertain to growth, abundance and money. And, you know, um, additional money can, can mean additional choices, right? And then your blues pertains to communication and subconscious. So you've got a hunch that you're on the right path and you're going to follow this particular hunch. Right, so your current energy, Eight of Cups, it's Pisces energy, Five of Wands is Leo. Specifically, it's Saturn in Leo. Um, now, these two, Eight of Cups and Five of Wands, this is telling me that currently you... I'm sorry for those who are a bit sensitive. Um, this is telling me that currently you're a bit pissed off. I mean, you're pissed off enough to the point where you've walked away from something. An eight of coins, that's Virgo energy. Um, yeah, th there's, there's been a reality check here. I'm feeling that you have given someone else a reality check with this eight of coins, because th this is like, th this is you focused on hard work, diligence, paying attention to the details, focused on your future. Um, some of you could be, some of you could be saving finances as well. There's something here about a nest egg. And you might have been dealing with another individual who um, was taking liberties they were taking liberties with your generosity and they, they cost you, okay? There, there was something, I, I don't want to use the word codependent, right? There, there's just certain words that I feel are quite overused to the point of becoming a bit meaningless. Um, so I'm going to avoid that and I'm going to say that you did everything that you possibly could to, to uh, make someone happy but it's almost as if well like whatever you did for them it was never enough it was never enough they made you feel like you were never enough and that's what you're leaving behind this is this is what you're finding your freedom from you you you've w woken up um you you've realized that they're full of shit um you've realized that their issues belong to them and it's no reflection of who you are as an individual. You, you've taken the initiative here to understand that it's not you, it's them, and you had the power and the control to walk away from that situation, and you absolutely have. Eight of Cups, Five of Wands. This is not a Sagittarius that's uh, sitting, twiddling their thumbs, doing nothing about a shitty situation. This is a Sagittarius who has been very, very proactive in getting their stuff sorted and getting their life sorted and in, in clearing individuals who are, are quite simply no good. No good whatsoever. You reinvest in with this eight of coins, you're investing in yourself. You, you're investing in what's important to you. And this individual that you've recently turned your back on, they're, they're no longer what's important. You're no longer putting them first. You're putting yourself first and it's nice. Let's see outside influences affect and such, please. Oh, the fool. Nice. Uranus, so it could be Aquarius energy. That's nice. A brand new beginning, six of cups. Uh, scorpion energy. Oh, wow. Sagittarius, you've got three major arcana out of four here as your outside influences. You've got strength, it's Leo energy, and death, scorpion energy. So, yeah, for the most part, this is pertaining to another individual. Um, now, what I'm not seeing is if this is a love interest, a a member of your family 
or something else or a friendship. It could be any of those things. All right. Um, listen, you know your life better than anybody. OK, you'll know where this is resonating for you. But this is quite clearly an individual who seemed to think that they had the final say in what happened in your life and they were wrong. They were so utterly, utterly wrong. You felt imprisoned by this individual and you, you found your freedom from them. It is interesting because I am, I, I'm feeling strongly that some of you, not all of you, some of you have got another individual as an outside influence that is separate from this. That this is like a, a really good friend for some of you, it could be a, a spirit guide as well. It, it feels, it, it, it does feel human, that there's a human vibe here that is helping you, Sagittarius. Now, this could be an Aquarian, this could be a Leo, it could be a Scorpion, it could be a Virgo or a Pisces, for some of you, not all of you, right? They, they are a really, really good advocate and they that they will do anything that it takes to help you out here. Um, th this is someone who is very good natured. Um, they're, they're very calm. They, they've been witness to everything that you've been through. Okay. And it's not that they're going to fight your corner for you um, <laughs> because they know their place. Uh, that they, they know where that boundary is, but they're certainly waiting on hand uh, to help you out in a tangible, meaningful manner. OK. Um, I'm going to have to start clarifying these outside influences because you do have a couple of different things that's going on here. Right. And I'm going to start clarifying what exactly this outside influence is for you. Oh, it's a mini deck. It's so fiddly. The Fool and Six of Cups. Why are these here, please, in Saji's outside influences? Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. I'm getting with this one. The good individual that's waiting on the sidelines ready to help you out, Saj. They, they could well have warned you about this situation cropping up. They, it's someone that you have known for a very, very long time with that Six of Cups, right? The Six of Cups pertains to childhood, nostalgia, happy memories, someone from your past or from a past life. It's also the card of a soulmate. Now, soulmates can come in many, many different forms. OK, this helpful individual is one of your soulmates. I am seeing that they they could well have warned you about this. But they, they've they've seen a lot more than they have let on as well. They're really helping to give you that nudge, that nudge forward. Why is strength and death here, please? OK. Chariots, Cancerian, Two of Wands is Aries, Eight of Coins is Virgo. Um, some, some of you are actually looking at a house move here, which is unusual. Currently, I'm, I'm picking out in your energy, Saj. This decision here that you've made, you might be a little bit back and forth with that decision because th there's something here that's telling me that you feel at the moment like you've lost a limb without that individual. I'm actually seeing a trauma bond that's playing out here between you and them. There's absolutely some kind of a trauma bond. And you might be struggling with feelings of guilt for, for needing to, uh, to save yourself, to walk away from them, right? You, w with this kind-hearted individual that is outside of that situation, 
that there's something here about helping you to pack up your boxes of stuff and like literally helping you to move house. It's weird. It's weird because it's really, really specific. What's the outcome here, please, for Sarge? Oh, thank you. Okay. Tower in reverse. Resisting the inevitable. Yeah. That, see. I sometimes get with the tower in reverse, emotional blackmail. Right, so you've got the tower in reverse, that's Mars energy, um, so Aries, Scorpio, Emperor, Aries again, a star, Aquarius, three of swords, Libra, knight of coins, uh, Virgo. So this is your outcome, and yeah, th there's a lot of pushback here, isn't there, Saj, between you and someone that you're trying to uh, re reclaim your freedoms from. It's like... They're playing at something here with this tower in reverse and the emperor. It, it's almost as if they're, they're, they're trying to uh, force some kind of an issue onto you. Um, and again, with the emperor energy, it, it can be someone who is really stubborn, domineering. Um, like the, the negative qualities of the emperor is someone who doesn't really give a shit about anybody else and just charges ahead regardless, you know, just sort of steamrolling through everybody else. Um, it, it's, I'm feeling here, Saj, that whoever this is pertaining to, they're not going to let you go very easily, okay? They, they understand how independent you are, right? They understand your, uh, your true potential. They also understand that up until this point, you have been keeping this power and potential of yours hidden. Um, there, there's something here about ownership as well, and I, I don't like it. Um, you're dealing with someone who likes to think that they own you or that you owe them, uh, as in O-W-E, you, you owe them for something. Um, and it, it's playing on those feelings of guilt. It, it's mind games and manipulation. Uh, that's written all over your read, Sarge. Um, there, there is a healing process here with the star in your outcome, but, but it's going to be a very, very difficult process, right? It's going to be a very slow process. Knight of coins, slowest moving knight of the deck, but ultimately it's going to be worth it. OK, um, th this I, I need to be really, really careful here, Saj, because some of you are dealing with an individual who uh, they can be quite covert in their abuse. Um, like, it's not immediately obvious to everyone else around them, but it was obvious to this friend that you've got here that's helping you. It was obvious to them. Um, that, I don't know, I'm feeling a really sort of sneaky vibe from them. Hmm... Why is a tower in reverse, please? Any outcome? Some of you might be tempted to keep the peace and to remain caged up just to keep the peace. Because in your outcome, it's like they're going to make it really, really difficult for you to leave, for you to find your freedom from that situation. So you might be tempted just to stay there a little bit longer, um, just to see if anything will change. And you're being told here with that three of swords and ah, nah, nothing, nothing's going to change. If you stay in that situation, nothing will change. Ten of wands. Yeah. 
that's Sagittarius energy, it's Saturn in Sagittarius. So the tower in reverse was clarified with the Ten of Wands. A heavy burden, a burden to carry. That is literally the chain around your ankle. Mm. What's a blockage? The sun, Leo energy. The start of a brand new life, happiness, joy, contentment, completion, victory, success, abundance, the sun. Really, really strange. For some of you, you could well be staying in that situation because there could be a child involved for some of you, not for all of you. Um, for others of you, it's, it's kind of like your blockage is fear of happiness. Because you've been in this situation for so, so long, it's almost as if you've become accustomed to being some kind of a prisoner. And you might feel guilty whenever you get a little taste of happiness. The blockage is the seeds of doubt and the seeds of negativity that someone else has planted into you. Someone else has told you, Sagittarius, at some point that you don't deserve happiness. That's the blockage. So you need to introspect, hermit, Virgo energy. You need to introspect and really take a closer look as to why that person would have said something like that to you. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why right now, Sag, because they're scared. They're scared of your power. Um, I, I, I like to use the phrase a silent powerhouse because you're someone who has got a lot of power behind you, um, a lot of fire in your belly, but you've never really had the opportunity to use it. And others around you will energetically feel that from you and it will intimidate them. So instead of them being an, an advocate for you to unleash your true creative potential, they, they'll actually start bullying you and manipulating you and trying to keep you small, cutting you down to size, um, you know, pulling you down a peg or two, wh whatever turn of phrase you prefer, okay? Um, because they don't want you to shine. They're terrified of you shining. They're scared of it. Um, they're scared that you could outshine them. It's weird. You're dealing with an individual who straight up is not, not a very nice individual. Like for real, they're not. Um, from what I can see in your guidance here, Sagittarius, if this read has been resonating for you, is to basically do what you can to, to free yourself from this individual, okay? It's not possible for you to continue to live your life this way. You, you cannot live your life this way. I'll leave it at that one, right? I'll start pulling you some more guidance now from your oracles. Sorry, I, I know I tend to get a little bit too involved with the reads sometimes when I can really, really feel all of the emotions that you've gone through or going through. It, it really sucks me in. So every so often I just have to stop and, you know, pull myself back out of it again. Um, because otherwise, honestly, these readings would be like eight hours long a piece. Guidance, please, for Sarge. Yo, oh, a lot of guidance. Okay, so you've got abandonment. Fear or abandonment issues are affecting relationships. Ghost in, forgive, especially yourself. Leveling up. You deserve the best. Major improvement doing the inner work and dealing with past hurts. Mingle. Go to places that pique your interest. Attend social gatherings. Talk to or meet new people. Uh, depending on where you are in the world, of course, that can easily pertain to mingle online. Okay. 
and taking a break. Not necessarily a breakup, take time apart, allow for a new perspective, center and meditate. So for some of you, this, this is actually a member of your family that's holding you prisoner. For some of you, not all of you. Um, your guidance is literally, it's time to take a break, Sag, okay? If this is an individual who they're very uh, hot, cold, hot, cold, back and forth with you, very uh, <clears throat> one minute you're the best thing since sliced bread, the next minute you're nothing but dirt on their shoe, it's time for you to take a break from that, right? T take a break from them specifically so that you can have space to think um, and to see things for, for the way that they truly are rather than the way that you would ideally like things to be okay that's what's been keeping you stuck to this and for some of you where that is a family member it's like they they naturally have that ability to really pull on your heartstrings because of the family connection okay um, nobody, nobody on this planet, Saj, has got the right to treat you like shit, whether they're related to you or not. They do not have that right. Okay. So, with this guidance, I, I keep getting sidetracked, I do apologise. Um... There's some kind of an abandonment issue here that that person is playing out with you and in turn it's giving you abandonment issues, right? It's time for you to level up and to realise that you absolutely do deserve the best and that you're never ever under any circumstances to accept anything less than your worth. But first of all you have to see your worth. It's going to take it's going to take some time for you to get there, but t uh, trust me, get there you absolutely will. Once you've broken free from this individual, and also in your guidance, if you can socialise with like-minded individuals, um, get back in touch with friends, uh, good members of your family, that sort of thing talking with others who understand exactly what it is that you're going through, helping you to really make sense of, of what I can see as quite a horrific time of it. Okay. Healing message, please, for Sarge. Okay. Rainbow dragon. Wow. Be honest with yourself and others. Release your burdens. Yeah. Okay, so I always say you get three messages that come with these cards. Your first message comes from the creator of the deck. Your second and most important message comes from your own intuition while you're looking at the card. And then your third message comes from your reader and their intuition. So it says, floating with the golden ascension rays, the rainbow dragon is making you aware of what is required for you to act in truth and honesty. Bringing the vibration from the golden ray, the rainbow dragon opens connections to your higher self, the central sun and the angelic and ascended master realms, while centering you in the present. Through the dragon's movements, the frequencies and vibrations of the rainbow spectrum dissipates negative blocks and karmic debris but only if you're willing to accept the change that's required to break down the walls and, bound, uh, and barriers that stop you from moving forward. Powerful and unstoppable, once you activate your rainbow dragon, prepare for swift and sudden change, bring in harmony and change in a positive direction. The rainbow dragon is the protector, ha harmonizer, destructor and creator all in one. Connecting to the elements, the dragon is here to assist you in raising your vibrations and consciousness through the energy of the elements. As the creator of action, you're encouraged to follow your truth with honesty and integrity. Right now, honesty is required in all areas of your life. When you begin to unburden yourself, you allow yourself to be open to the gifts of the universe. So now is the time to get busy. Ask the elements for assistance to work through your present issues. Which element can help you in your current situation? 
Focus on the rainbow dragon. Which color are you attracted to in the card? Okay, so for those of you who are really drawn to the pinks and the purples, it's saying uh, to work with the element of earth for grounding nature, practical life cycles, balance and harmony. For those who are really drawn to the white, <coughs> it says uh, to work with the element of air, breath and meditation, clarity of consciousness. For those who were attracted to the blues, it says to work with the element of water, assessing and free in emotion, truth and expression. For those who were pulled to the reds and oranges, it says to work with the element of fire, finding your passion. And for those who were pulled to the colours purple, it says to work with the spirit element, placing you on your life direction, harmonising the yin and yang energies, emergence of one with spiritual law, identifying patterns and rules governing life, creation, awareness and higher frequencies. So whichever way that you look at this card, Sagittarius, is telling you that now is the time. Now is the time for you to um, tackle this situation head on. It's not going to be easy but it will absolutely be worth it, okay? And to not feel guilty for doing it as well, you know? You, you have to live your own life. You have to. What I'm seeing is someone trying to live their life through you and it doesn't work for you. It's really, really selfish of them to expect, you know, to, to expect that you're just going to go along with it. Right, so for those of you who are new to my channel, I do have to warn you about this deck. It's the Rebel deck. This is the part of the read where it can get really, really sweary. Okay, so obviously if you're not into that sort of thing. Although I highly doubt that there will be many Sagittarius who are not into that sort of thing. It's also completely interchangeable as well. Okay, Sag, so it's up to you how many of these cards that you take for yourself, how many you divvy out to the individuals that you're dealing with, it's all completely interchangeable, right? So it says, drop the fucking ego, vulnerability's hot as fuck, stop talking, shut your mouth and listen, you look like a shit show, you're a hot mess, fact, clean yourself up. So you're wishing that basically this individual here would just shut up and listen to you. You are loved. You're here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. And get some fucking sleep. You've been an ass because you're fucking tired. Face to pillow now. And I'll just pull you a bonus message as well, Saj. So Saj, please. Okay. Ooh, make waves, mermaid. Yeah, Sag, don't be afraid to upset the apple cart, okay? I'm seeing in your read, Sag, you're going to have to tip that fucking apple cart right over in order for you to get the life that, that you deserve for yourself. You are so enough. Aye, absolutely. So that's what I have for you, Sag. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so is in the descriptions box and it's in the pinned comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, so I just wanted to do this extra segment at the end of the videos uh, to explain my table theme throughout the month of March. So my table theme is dedicated to a really beautiful kind soul. She's called Karen. I'm not going to give her full name, obviously, because I would like to uh, protect her full identity. Uh, but she's called Karen and she's from the Mulleseat tribe, which means the people of the beautiful river. And she sent me this, I hope I, I hope I can pronounce it correctly. She sent me this Willemar skill, 
which is sweet grass and it's grown in her territory and it's actually one of their four sacred medicines so it's really really special uh, she taught me how to use it properly and how to look after it and she also sent this beautiful dream catcher as well and that was actually handmade by a Mi'kmaq elder and I keep this on my wall close to me at all times and she also sent me this beautiful handmade card as well I am completely and utterly grateful for her kindness and her generosity it's absolutely incredible and that's why I wanted to dedicate this month's theme purely to Karen and to, to her tribe and to her people to her culture um, it's honestly um, to to have these items that are so utterly special is just so incredible i'm so grateful i'm so so proud as well uh, so thank you so much karen wally one